welcome to the wide world of esports, a show devoted to all things esports. I'm your host, Catherine Knorr. Today we're talking about pursuing a career in esports with, with me is uh, Sharuk Tanvir. Welcome, Hi, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> so I know you go by Jack, right? Yeah. Okay. People call well, me Jack, Jack Wayne. That's my gamer tag, actually. <laughs> okay. So I know that you're joining us from India. What time is it there? <laughs> yeah, it's it's 3.30 a.m. in the morning and it's really cold. I'm, I'm wearing a jacket and behind me, it's, it's a heater there. <laughs> it's really oh cold. My, my goodness. Wow, that's interesting. <laughs> so um, so we, I've, I've talked to you before on my show and that was last September. And what's been going on with Arthemis since we left? Uh, yeah, since uh, like uh, we had a show, it was really great. I really enjoyed the show. I was uh, telling that I, I really enjoyed the show. So after that, uh, numbers are rapidly increasing on our social media and our YouTube and other platforms. See, recently, we have completed 11,000 subscribers on YouTube and we have completed 41, I think 4,200 on Facebook. And it, it is going really, really good. Uh, working on the streams, same, uh, like twice a day or sometimes thrice a day. Uh, that that's going really, really good. I'm so happy that people from all over the globe are supporting Artemis now. Fantastic! And I loved your story last time when you mentioned that when you started streaming, you had zero people following you, and then all of a sudden you had one person after quite a uh, quite a while, quite a few days, and uh, that was kind of quite an interesting um, motivational um, thing for us. Yeah, like uh, when I started, the day was 19 April, 2019. No, it was 17 April, uh, 2019, I started doing it. And there was like zero subscribers, zero views, what they were there. And I was doing the streaming for next seven days. So there was nothing. And suddenly I got one subscriber, the name of the person was Vipul, and he is still with us. So now we have 11,000 and he is still with us. So that, that's really cool. Fantastic. Okay. So talking about numbers, let's show the video. All right, guys, welcome back to the game. Let's get things started. This is Artemis. And today I'm going to tell you some incredible numbers and stats about video gamers from all over the globe. Almost 50% of the world population plays video games. The latest statistics have us at 7.6 billion people on Earth and a new study from DFC Intelligence tells us that in 2020 that includes 3.1 billion video gamers. But who exactly are these gamers? And where they come from? What is their favorite way to play? I'm sure you have already guessed. The most popular platform for gamers none other than mobile devices almost half of the players are playing on their phones according to this study players with consoles are in the minority since they represent just eight percent of the 3.1 billion gamers this group also spends the most which makes sense when you look at how much consoles and games cost 48 percent of the players are pc gamers which means no less than 1.5 billion players. According to this study, half of these gamers lives in Asia, which means 1.42 billion gamers. Wow. The second best geographical group is in Europe with 668 million players that followed by Latin America and North America with 383 million and 261 million respectively. Well, those are some really crazy numbers. Let us know what type of gamer you are, mobile, PC, or console in the comment below. Hit the like button and follow us for more videos. So Jack, with that many gamers around the world, it seems to me that there are, um, potential opportunities for a career in esports and gaming. Yes. Um, what are your thoughts? Yeah, to be honest with you, there is a huge potential in gaming industry. It was always there. 
like how people can manage to make some good amount of money by just playing video games. As we were talking about the last uh, show, I was telling that how gaming industry is rapidly increasing. Now, if we are talking about the numbers, we have already seen the numbers that how many gamers are actually active gamers are there. If I include the gamers for mobile games, for PC games, or uh, for the console games, tournaments are going on rap, uh, like all over the globe for mobile games, for PC games, for esports games. So let's talk about some basic things, okay? Let's talk about like how a player can make a career in gaming or esports industry. Just take an example, uh, a player who is 21 years old, okay? He have great skills into the gaming. It can be any game. It can be a PC game or it can be a phone game or any other game, okay? He have great skills. Now, what is the next thing he should do? He should start doing this streaming on different platforms. These platforms are free. You don't have to sign up or you don't have to pay hundreds of millions, hundreds of dollars for signing up on YouTube or Facebook gaming. It's just, you have to create a page. You can start working on these, uh, create your logo, start uploading your video, start doing streaming. Now, these platforms, uh, YouTube and Facebook, Twitch and some others are <clears throat> giving some good options where you can monetize your channel once you completed the criteria, like 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, 4,000 hours on YouTube, then you can get monetized and people can start paying you money, okay? They can give you a super chat, a donation. Um, people can give you super stickers and you can get that money from start. Like once you start doing it, it will be a low, but when the number growing, the money will grow automatically. So that, that's really great. Same thing comes with the Facebook. Once you start doing on YouTube, you can do the same streaming, same time on Facebook also. Now there are different criteria in Facebook and uh, once you've completed those criteria, Facebook will start paying you. So all you have to do is you just have to stream, um, you have to work on your videos, you have to work on your skills and then you can start making money. So this is something that is for a small thing, okay? It is like just playing video games and make a small amount of money. Uh, what I did, what I recently started doing is Artemis have uh, launched their own merchandise now. Mm. And the merchandise are not just in India, it's all over the globe. You can buy it in the United States, you can buy it in Australia, you can buy it in Europe, European countries and anywhere. So what we are doing is we are designing our own t-shirts, hoodies, caps, like there are tons of products are there. So people can buy it on a very affordable prices and we are selling them. So we have our own logo there on, on, on those hoodies and t-shirts. We are, uh, I'm, I'm personally uh, creating those t-shirts and designs. I'm showing them that how gaming uh, can be done in, in, in illustration and things. So that's what I'm currently working on. So this is also a thing. Now, another thing which I have personally experienced and I would like to give an advice to the streamers or to gamers. What these people can do is they can have a sponsorship, a small sponsorship from local owners, you know, those computer shops. You can simply go to them and you can tell them that we would like to advertise your shop and your products on our live streaming. And people will ask me that what product should I go for? What uh, gaming keyboard should I go for? What gaming mouse should I go for? And I will, I will advertise your business there and you have to sponsor me. Uh, there are two things. Either uh, these people can sponsor you for cash money or they can sponsor you for the uh, these stuff, gaming keyboard, mouse, monitor, whatever thing. So I've got some of them, which is really good. It's, it's not a big amount, but it's a small amount and that's, that's that's really cool. So these are some of the tips which I would like to sh uh, give it to the gamers or the streamers that they should go for. And it's it is very easy to achieve. It's not a big thing that you have to do some rocket science. It's very easy to do it. Sure. And so um, you talk about sponsors of you know um, what we call endemic brands, um, where it's like keyboards, mouses, those kind of things. But would you also be interested in sponsors that are non-endemic, those that don't have anything to do with esports, some, something like a soda company or a car company or something like that? Yes. In this case, uh, uh, yes, I would like to suggest that you can go for uh, the local restaurants. 
because a restaurant is something that everyone loves to go. You can go for a pizza shop or you can go for a soda shop or you can go for any other shop. You can tell them that we are going to advertise your uh, restaurant there, um, putting a logo, side logo on the stream or telling them that uh, you can order a pizza or you can also promote coupon code, you know, buy one, get one free pizza or 50% discount or something like this. So yes, that, that's a nice idea that people should go for. Sure, there could also even be trade situations, um, I would think. Yeah, there there will be. So yeah. these are the things like okay. uh, people should go for the new gamers or the new, st new streamers. Sure. And what skills do you think someone should develop um, for an esports or gaming career? See, skills is something that uh, we should come up with every time. You know, we should keep working on the skills, improving on the skills is really important. Because, for example, if I'm doing a live stream, okay, I know that I'm a pro gamer and I, I, I do some of my own tricks uh, that people love to watch. So if you are doing a stream, you have to be something unique that what n not other people are doing. So create your own charts or make it your own slogan or make it your something interesting that your viewers should engage with it. It's, it, it, it shouldn't sound or it shouldn't view like the other streams. It should look like that this guy is something different. So because they're giving you their, uh, their subscribe, you know, that is one button that they're giving you. To, that means a lot. So this is something that we streamers have to do something special for them, like giving a personal shout out to them or engaging, sometimes do something funny, sometimes do something uh, interesting that should engage the viewers into the stream. Sure. And um, I actually see you pop up on my Facebook uh, <laughs> because I know you're streaming on Facebook. And and uh, so that's kind of fun. I, I like to pop in there now and then to to watch you. Um, uh, so are you, um, uh, I, are you kind of new to Facebook for streaming? Yeah, uh, like uh, since the last show I started, uh, I think it's almost five months I started working on Facebook. And like, as I told you, the numbers are rapidly increasing, 4,200 we have recently done on our Facebook and every day it is growing like hundreds of number every day. So oh. I think like uh, the main uh, goal for our community, our Artemis community, that we are focusing to get at least 100K at the end of the year. Right, Focus right. is to get 1 million, but we are expecting that 1 million is not, I know it is possible, but somewhere we are taking 100K. 100 well, you K. know, you just have to kind of go in increments and it takes a lot of time too. Yeah, it I mean, is. you're building a community. I know it took me years to max out LinkedIn and uh, I did it, but it took a lot of years to do it. So if, if someone is interested in esports as a career, um, uh, uh, what kind of major uh, college majors would you yeah, suggest? First, uh, there are a couple of things that I would like to show, I would like to discuss in terms of esports career that people should go for the tournaments, okay? That is number one, that everyone is focusing. If, they, if, uh, if you want to make some big money, people should go for the big tournaments. And first of all, they have to work on their team, okay? Because esports is not a single thing. You have to work with your team. You have to work with your community. So try to improve your community, try to improve your team. And once you are done, then try to improve your skills so that you can be into the uh, esports big tournaments. Now. Um, if I talk about the big esports tournament, it can be any other game. Just take any game, PUBG, Call of Duty, or any other game into the esports. If you are performing good, then big companies like Red Bull, big companies like um, ASUS, big companies like uh, Microsoft can hire you. They can sponsor you for a big amount of money. Even if you are not the winner and you have performed very well, they will they will love to be with you. They will, they will promote you. They will give you the t-shirts, specs, whatever you want, they will give you. So that's how a person can be into esports and make a career in esports, which is really, really good. And uh, because now a days people are coming to me, they are sending me messages, they are calling me, or we are having these uh, communication on our Discord server or our, on our Facebook 
that they don't know what to do. They have skills, but as I said, like they don't know what to do next. So they should start making these things. They should start working on their clan. Clan is something like, well, uh, they should go for a team for at least seven to eight people. Okay, they should start working their own community to make big and they should start working on their team. So that's the first thing that should that these guys should work on. Once these things are done, then they should go for the big tournaments or what, what in my opinion, I think they should they can start with these small tournaments. OK, because uh, there are some websites which are hosting small tournaments with a small amount of money and you don't have to pay any entry fee. It's free free of cost, but where you can, there you can make a good amount of money, like $1,000 pool price or $2,000 pool price. So you can start with these. And once you grab your hand in these tournaments, then go for the big one. You know, I had previously interviewed um, Fatality um, uh, and he talked about his journey in um, with an esports career. And this was back before people were really, really knew that much about it. And he was yeah. making, you know, $10,000 in a weekend, 20,000, 100,000. And, you know, for a young guy, he was doing really well. And, you know, but now that it's much bigger, it seems to me that the opportunities are much more in all sorts of areas. Is that right? Yeah, it is absolutely right that competition has begun now because uh, there was a time when esports was only in US culture, not not everywhere. But now if we are talking about the Asia Asians like they are uh, they are up to every they are, they are into everything. They are into gaming, they are into esports. There is a guy in Asia who owns the biggest cyber uh, gaming cafe in Asia and that is like 24 7 gamers are sitting there gamers are sleeping there gamers are bathing there in that cyber cafe and he's making millions of dollars and he is only 25 so right right this is the thing where um, people are uh, now learning esports culture sure. it's, it's, it has become a sports now because there was a time when we used to do we, we used to see f uh, football we used to see basketball and we we thought that this is a big uh, you know criteria where we should go for but now esports is something that it is growing rapidly and it is going really fast that no sports have ever done this thing before sure and you know i also know that people are making money as shoutcasters and uh you know in in all different areas whether it's with a you know working for a company in their esports department. And obviously I, I have different people in the esports industry every week on my show and they're demonstrating how they're making uh, money. And I know that you, so Jack, I know that you went to, I think University of Florida and you, what were your majors? There? Oh, I was in animation and visual effects. Okay. And has that helped you in your yeah, um, career? It, it does. Uh, because like if we are talking uh, if we are talking about the uh, game uh, reviews or if we are talking about the animation in the game if we are talking about the effects in the game that helps me a lot because I know in and outs of those things so creating those videos I don't have to hire a video uh, editor or something I can create it my own mm -hmm. I can do my own shooting I can do my own things because uh, Artemis is not just limited with the games now what we are planning is to create VFX gaming videos so I think uh, if I'm not wrong that Artemis will become the first India's gaming and VFX channel in India so that's what we are planning to do. We have got our cameras ready. We have got our teams ready. So we are going to act some, you know, gaming. We are going to record some gaming videos up to so that we can guide people how to do these things because VFX in India is growing now. So people mm -hmm. will love it. That, that's okay. what our next goal is. Yeah, and a viewer asked, uh, how much business knowledge would I need to become a professional gamer? Yeah, uh, to be honest with you, uh, like as I started two years, it's almost two years uh, because first I was only playing on my PC. I was only playing on my console. I was like, 
I was also like the other guys who don't know what to do next. So I start doing a streaming. I start connecting with more and more people. I came to know what things are. I came to know what esports industry is, and I start learning them every day. And now here I am today. Uh, to be honest with you, we are running the India's biggest esports Discord server named mm. as Artemis. So we have like good number of amount of people are there. We are doing text channel there. We are doing voice channel there. We are doing great activities there. Even as per my personal interest, I have created two uh, text channel there. One is daily motivation. So one of us, we, who are the admins, who are the uh, moderators, we are posting daily motivation code there. I, I know like it is not for the gaming, but this is something that if you are waking up early in the morning and you suddenly saw a daily motivated quotation or a photo, which gives you a small story, that makes you feel good. So that's what my int personal interest is. That what I'm doing. And second thing that I'm doing is the love court, you know, just to make something romantic. <laughs> so that, this is something that I've created there. And it is going really good. People are liking it. And there are, um, even uh, the fans that we are that we have on Artemis community on Discord, they are sending us uh, the daily motivation. Some are like created by their own, some are created from Google, but they are sending and it. It, it feels good that people are actually making interest into this. Now, did you take uh, business classes in college as well? Oh, no. Okay, so you, you're an entrepreneur, but you have to kind of learn the business aspects of it as you go? Yeah, I have to learn everything from scratch. <laughs> so, I mean, it sounds to, uh, sounds to me like if someone does have uh, business knowledge that they gain from college, that that would be advantageous. Would you think that? Yeah, I think that will be that will be a good uh, scenario here because uh, you know if you go to these college or if you go to these classes, uh, they will teach you what to do next or what how you can approach. Because to be honest with you, uh, when I start doing things, when I start going to the presentation, giving presentation of Artemis into the uh, sponsorship for the offices for the restaurants, like as we were talking. It was for me, it was a little difficult. I don't know where to start. So mm -hmm. I learned it. I learned it from my own. And now I'm doing yeah. great because I think self learning is the best learning. Sure, sure. Um, so, how is the esports business uh, in India? Yeah, uh, like since the pandemic, to be honest with you, it has grown up to 200%. Because oh. everyone, as we are talking about the numbers, as you show, uh, it was there on the video that half of the population on the world is playing on their phone. Okay, so this thing <clears throat> is going rap growing rapidly in India, and most of the player are actually playing on their phone, not on PC. To be honest with you, if I'm not wrong with these stats, eighty percent of the gamers in India are mobile players. And they are they want to be into esports completely. We are talking about here a 13 years old boy to 35 years old boy. <laughs> so and it is going really good. I'm really happy that Indian gamers are uh, actually taking good interest into esports. Sure. And that's what I Artemis is doing for them. Artemis is really helping them to get into the esports. And do you have um, uh, fans and connections um, outside of India of Arthemis? Yeah, that's what I said. Like, uh, Arthemis means gamers are never alone, and people are actually supporting us from all over the globe. Like, as I said, we are selling merchandise. So, we have all, already sold more than 10 pieces uh, outside India. Uh, some of there are in the United States, some of there are in Australia, some of there are uh, some are like in, in, in London. And people actually come to our stream, they donate us with the super chat, or they also promote our video, or they also share our video on our social media. And that, that's really good. Do you now do you sell um, any merchandise with the gamers are never alone um, logo? Yeah, uh, I, uh, there are some of the t-shirts and um, hoodies are there that we have created. Even if you just go to our YouTube channel. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I forget to mention this thing. This this was really important. I forget. I'm really sorry. Once you are done with these monetization on YouTube, now there's a new feature where you 
uh, like as a gaming community or as a content creator can sell their own merchandise on YouTube. This is a new feature mm -hmm. that YouTube have implemented and we have got, I think uh, Artemis is the first YouTube channel that's selling merchandise on YouTube. And we have oh. our merchandise there on YouTube. Oh, it's, it's a new feature that YouTube have introduced. I'm, I'm really sorry, I forget to mention this thing. If you go to our channel, YouTube, uh, uh, YouTube Artemis, and uh, there is a special tab, say store, just click on it and you'll see all those t-shirts and hoodies are there and people can directly buy from there. And it's a global, uh, like they are doing international shipping also. Okay, so um, kind of quickly, uh, what do you think the future is in esports? Uh, to be honest with you, I was looking at some of the things that how big companies are spending hundreds of millions of dollars into esports. We are talking about the Gary V here. We are talking about the Red Bull here. We are talking about the Microsoft that they are spending hundreds of millions of dollars into gaming industry. They are organizing tournaments. They are creating games. They are hiring gamers to get into esports. I think that in next five years, gaming uh, sports will actually become a uh, official uh, official sport like we are as we see like basketball and football and other so i think that esports will be a next level sport into into the world in next 5 years that's what my expectations are okay and so how can uh, viewers find you yeah, people can find me. Just type Artemis, that's A-R-3-M-I-S, three as in number, on Google, and they'll find everything there. They can find my address, my number, my website, YouTube, Instagram, everything is already there. <laughs> All right. It's, it's good to see ourselves on Google. <laughs> All right. Well, so I hope everyone finds Artemis and, and uh, likes and connects um, and watches your stream. Jack, thank you so much for being my guest again. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you so much. All right. So thank you all for joining us today. And I thank our viewer for the question. Uh, next week, my guest will be gamer doc, Dr. Lindsay Miglior. Uh, we'll discuss injuries and treatment associated with gaming and esports. See you then.